Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we are building the first Windows 11 mineral PC. We're kind of feeding off our most popular video on the channel, the first Windows 10 mineral PC. And the fact that we've been kind of itching to do another mineral PC and the fact that Windows 11 is almost there, it just kind of made sense for us to work on this project. But before we talk about how this PC is gonna look and how it's gonna work, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Signal RGB, the all-in-one RGB solution we have been dreaming about. Signal RGB lets you control and sync all your RGB products in one application with support for many different devices across a wide range of brands, removing the need to run multiple RGB softwares. Some examples of what you can do with Signal RGB is have your RGB lighting synced up to react to things like movies and even built-in game integrations that have the lighting react to things happening in game. The best part is you can try this awesome software for free, but if you do love it, consider subscribing to the Pro model to help continue development of this awesome project. Check the link down below to learn more and special thanks again to Signal RGB for sponsoring today's video. So for those of you who don't know what a mineral oil PC, it is basically a normal computer with that in it. And it looks like water, but it is not. It is actually mineral oil. And what mineral oil is, is a really down to earth oil that doesn't have anything in it. And because of that, it has almost no conductivity to it. So it actually acts as an insulator. So you could drop your phone in there. You could put a screen in there. We're going to drop all these computer parts in there and they're going to work perfectly fine. It's not necessarily recommended you do this. I know the general thought is, oh, if I submerge all my parts in a liquid, it'll run cooler. For the most part, it does. But there are some trade-offs. The fact that your components are forever stuck in here and let you want to take them out and have them drip dry for months um, and actually be able to use them in another case. And also, it's just really, really messy. You'll see here when we put this together, we're probably going to spill some somewhere. There's probably going to be some oil places and, uh, you know, it's just it's the downside of mineral oil PCs. But uh, yeah, we have a lot on this table. We're going to talk about each individual part while we're actually streaming on Amazon Live, by the way. Um, take a look at our Amazon Live if you haven't done that already. And uh, yeah, go over how this project's going to work because it is going to be a project. There is some modding involved and we're going to have to dive into it. Now, going off what Matt said, another problem that you have with mineral oil is it does leach really bad. So if you have any type of cords or anything inside the oil, the oil naturally creeps up them and it will get on the table or surface you're on and it is gross stuff. It just gets everywhere. And the other problem, um, kind of going off what Matt said, is that mineral oil can be really good for transfer of heat, but the problem is it does not transfer heat as well as air does. So technically air cooling is actually better, but if you add something like a pump and a radiator, mineral oil is great because it cools all the components. However, if you don't do that, things like the CPU, the heat's going to just stick in that one spot and then it's going to spread throughout the whole system really bad. So overheating is actually really easy in mineral oil if you don't cool it properly. So let's go ahead and talk about each individual part, how it makes up the PC build and also everything we need to make this mineral oil PC possible. So for the processor, we have the newest i5. This is the 11500. The reason we want the 11500 over the 11400 is because this has the really good integrated Intel graphics. The specific graphics are the Intel Iris Pro 750 graphics, and it's actually comparable to something like a Ryzen 3400G, which those are really hard to get and they're really expensive. This also is a six core 12 thread, so it does pack a lot more punch than the 3400G, um, and it should actually run about the exact same as far as temperatures go. Now for the motherboard, we have the Asus Prime B560MA. This is a micro ATX board that will fit in this tank just fine. It actually should sit the IO like right at the top of this tank here, which we'll talk about in a minute. So there really shouldn't need to be a ton of modifications to the tank since we went with the micro ATX board, but you also could go mini ITX if you wanted an even smaller board, but we have a lot of room in this tank that we wanted to use. So for RAM, we have 16 gigs of Team Force T Force Delta RGB. It is, like I said, 16 gigs. So you have two 8 gig sticks, 3200 megahertz. This will be perfect for this Intel system and it's RGB to go with this nice RGB glow that we already have inside the case there. Now for storage, we have the good old Western Digital Blue SN550. This is a 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD. One thing we forgot to note, if you are trying to add a lot of storage to your mineral oil PC, it can't use hard drives because, well, moving parts and obviously submerging moving parts will not work very well with mineral oil. And also you can't put fish in this thing. So please don't comment down below. You always ask when you put fish in it, they will die. But this right here is a decent SSD that'll be fast enough and have a good enough capacity to get us started. And uh, yeah, if you always wanna add more storage, you can always add SSDs, but don't add hard drives. 
Now for the power supply, we have this EVGA 550 watt 80 plus gold fully modular power supply. Yeah, and it's SFX. Now SFX power supplies are really small and compact power supplies that are ideal for, well, mini ITX builds. And what we have right here is pretty much the size of a mini ITX build in this tank, which I'll talk about here in a second. But 550 watts, more than enough for this PC. If you wanted to add a graphics card to a build like this, you easily could with this power supply. But do keep in mind, adding a graphics card to this adds another uh, factor of heat, which you're gonna have to dissipate and it may end up complicating things and may have you get another radiator, which is something you don't want to do and mainly why we didn't do it. So keep that in mind. But this tank right here, I'm not sure. Do you know what the brand is of this tank? No, I mean, it might be Fluval or Fluval. So Who it's knows? just basically an acrylic tank. We'll leave a link to the description down below. It is uh, something we bought off of eBay. It is a very popular tank and is one we've used multiple times for this mineral PC project, mainly because it's acrylic. Acrylic is the best material for these kind of projects. And also the fact that it has RGB. Ooh, look at that, RGB built in. Um, yeah, just something cool to make this thing look nice. And it's pretty affordable considering what we're doing for this project. So um, yeah, how about Jackson come in here and talk about, well, this stuff, the lube, the pump, the uh, well, other fun stuff. So yeah, these tanks right here, Matt was correct. This is actually cheaper than most computer cases. I think this was like 45 bucks and you get built in RGB. Mm -hmm. What case do you get that for that price? Not to mention clear sides all the way around. We might start using these for normal builds, but we have four gallons worth of white mineral oil. And based on our research, we've actually used many different kinds. We've used uh, baby oil. We've used like the in-store quarts of mineral oil. We even used smaller versions. Like back in the day, we just went to Kroger's and Walmart and had to buy a lot of oil. We looked like weirdos because we had to go multiple days because they only stock a few. So Amazon, about $17, you can get this stuff. It looks a little more viscous than we're used to. So I'm a little bit leery about that. But from what I read, this is just straight white mineral oil that's food grade and everything. So this should be fine for it. Um, and four gallons should be enough, but we do have extra as well right down there that I accidentally bought small ones. So we have plenty, but we don't wanna fill this thing to the brim. We wanna fill it just to where it covers the CPU cooler and the VRMs, and then that'll be a plenty. You don't wanna cover the IO and all that because then imagine plugging USB things in. They'll get covered in oil every time. You don't really want that. For tubing, we have this 3 8 diameter clear tubing. It's uh, it's pretty malleable and everything. You don't want stuff that's too, super stiff because you need to put it over fittings. And to actually seal the tubing, stainless steel hose clamps don't go with anything mild steel in this because you will get corrosion and rust, which naturally you're going to get some byproducts when you're putting everything in mineral oil that's not designed for that. So keep that in mind. You're gonna, I know a lot of people are gonna comment about rubber falling apart, um, things getting stiff and brittle. That does happen. We have not seen rubber fall apart though. We've, We've done this many times. We've never had anything break down or deteriorate, but we have seen parts get stiff. So like cables and stuff, they do get stiff, like power cords um, after they're in there for a year. Um, you can't really bend them like you used to, but other than that, we don't see any major things happen. We have an 800 gallon per hour submersible water pump. This is just a basic pond pump that they sell all day on Amazon. I tried to get like the smallest one I could that moved the most gallons per hour. And that was also trustworthy. So that'll basically just sit down inside here on top of the rocks. We'll probably try to hide it behind the power supply. Um, and then this tubing will connect to one end of it. It'll go through our radiator, which I'll show you guys. Um, and then it'll come back out the radiator back into the tank. So basically it's just recirculation. Um, and this radiator here is a nice 240 millimeter radiator that came with 240 millimeter fans and shrouds, which this is about the fanciest we've gotten. And uh, we're thinking we'll probably mount this like up top like this, um, have the oil, you know, basically come around, go back into these holes here. Should be really simple. Mounting will probably be the worst part. Um, we also have this. This isn't really part of the budget necessarily. This is literally a transfer pump for siphoning in case you need to take the oil out or anything. Um, we have some substrate. This is the black with uh, like, you know, pink and other colorful rocks. This will look really cool with this RGB. Um, and I'm pretty excited about that because we've done four mineral PCs now. And uh, I don't think we've had any that really had a lot of RGB. Typically they just had like a blue LED or a white LED. So this one will be really fun because it's gonna be the coolest one we've built. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, well, decide what we wanna do first. Probably start planning some test fitting, taking uh, this thing, we'll open this thing up and putting the parts in and just see what works. So probably building the computer first, well, part of the computer, put it in there, see what it looks like, and then start doing the modifications that we need to do. So let's do it.
All right, so we have the motherboard built and ready to go. Um, we did a little test fit and it seems to fit nicely, but uh, Jackson's gonna see if this little pop-out tab, what is that actually used They for? call them like breakout tabs. Normally it'd be for your filter. Filter. Uh, you would put like a, they call them hang on the back filter. And uh, you know, this sits right here. Your filter would sit here. Um, and then this is your DC power jack for the RGB lighting. And this right here would normally be for like an aerator or your heater. So you just kind of have to work it off. It's kind of like breaking an IO shield, honestly. Not an IO shield, but those little uh, PCI lane covers. Got to work them back and forth. It's not really the prettiest finish. We can go through and snip those later. I'm not gonna lie, we probably won't. I always say like, we oh, say let's that, go. But are we going let's to? go back and fix things later, and then we never will. So what I'm gonna do real quick is. I'm just gonna kind of set this in there just to get a general idea. I think the motherboard's gonna need to go off to the side because if you look, our IO is not centered, but this is centered. So the motherboard needs to go off to the side, but that works out perfect because we need somewhere to put the power supply in. Matt, you wanna come look at this fitment? That is very nice. That's actually a what really- was it? Why was this like made for this? <laughs> you think so? Yeah. It actually like almost hangs on the edge. Like if you look, wow. um, we could actually totally uh, glue this on um, well, it's gonna take a little bit more fitment, obviously, to make sure everything fits right, but yeah, I think maybe we actually run the IO shield for the first time ever. This would be the most professional mineral oil PC we've ever built. So for the motherboard mounting, um, what we'll probably do is, uh, the, one of the reasons we go with acrylic is because you can't really drill through glass. You can, but you need special bits. It's really hard. We've tried it before, actually, and you just, you shatter the glass. I'm kind of thinking we're just gonna use these two top ones, the ones that are the furthest out of the oil, so that when we mount it, because it's probably gonna go up here, we're just gonna use really short, um, basic, you know, almost drywall screws. Uh, use, uh, we're gonna pre-drill it so that it um, goes in, and then that's it. I mean, the PC's not gonna move around a lot, so the, it's not gonna move. Um, but the main idea is you want the screws to be out of the oil and then we'll seal them with some type of, um, you know, acrylic, uh, like two part epoxy, or we'll just use um, some type of caulk sealant. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, mark our holes and figure out where we want to mount this. All right, got Ooh. our holes marked. It's time this to drill. This is nice. Short drill so we can actually fit inside here because as you can see, normally we wouldn't be able to do this back in the day because look, it has to go through two layers. Um, but we do want to put the screws through this way. There's obviously a lot better methods you could use um, for mounting this board. This is kind of mediocre in my opinion, but it's it's really gonna work just fine. So yeah, you definitely wanna make sure you have screws that have pretty thick threading. Like you don't wanna use really fine thread. That's why I really like these, because you can see the threading's just huge on them. Uh, but these I think will work fine. It's a little bit smaller compared to those. Hollow that out. See, I'm, I'm wallowing it out better. Oh yeah, dude, eyeball test did not fail you. So yeah, here's where you wanna be really careful, guys, and you'll hear a crack if it goes bad, but it looks like we're almost all the way through and I have not seen the crack happen, so it's definitely good. Yeah, so the board's actually pretty tight, and keep in mind, we're putting all these rocks in the bottom, so that'll really hold the bottom well, but I mean. It's in there. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. So, so now let's see if we actually got this fitment right where um, we can put this IO shield on top. Now, one thing that's kind of a downside and we could add this second screw, um, but I don't really want to. So I'm gonna see if we can do it without it. All right, so yeah, it's uh, this actually, it's pretty centered. It's not perfect like it quite was when we imagined it. Sorry, I kind of fell off there. Um, I think we're gonna need to kind of, I don't know if we'll need to glue the IO shield down somewhere. Uh, but as you can see, it looks really good like this. It just doesn't quite want to stay in place. Now let's just kind of do some more test fitting. Really, we know everything's going to fit. We know that for a fact because, I mean, it's tiny. Uh, we do need to keep in mind, we need a power cord. That's going to be a good one because it needs to come out of the tank and we don't want to have to replace it. Um, so normally how we've done this in the past is I believe we'd put it like this, have the cord come out, a right angle cord would be really good for this. Um, so you could almost put it like here. Um, we never really mounted the power supplies before. So I'm kind of debating on like how we want to do that because we really, we don't want it like moving around a ton. I'm kind of going for like the most professional mineral oil PC we've done. All right guys, so now we're kind of just figuring out what we want to do with the power supply. So I'm gonna go ahead and break off this one because I think we're going to have the power cord come through this. And I also think we're going to have the tubes for the actual 240 millimeter liquid cooler come through this as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this off because we're not gonna need it. All right, so look at that. We got plenty of room here to run our tubes uh, for the cooler through. 
And uh, for the power supply, you know, we're kind of brainstorming some ideas on if we want to mount it and how we would mount it. Um, there's not a ton of room or ways that we could really do it. Um, so we'll think about that for another second, but we have everything in here that needs to be in here besides the pump. Let's go ahead and open that and see how big it is because it actually feels a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Normally I would put it behind the power supply. Um, so I'd have like, cause the power supply actually looks cool. You know, it's part of the computer. And then I would like sandwich it behind it. That's actually, I'm liking it. How does that look? I know it kind of blocks the RAM slightly, but I mean. That should be fine. Yeah. All right. Let me plug this stuff in. Let me go ahead and plug this in. Oh, I didn't think about this. <laughs> Well, you know what? It still still kind of moves, so pretty good. And yeah, um, we'll have rocks that'll sandwich it, which we could really go ahead and put in the rocks if we wanted to. Sure. Um, you want to do that? Yeah, pour some rocks, some rocks in. Some okay. Rocks. So you're gluing. I decided to glue. Um, I, we haven't even checked to see if the motherboard works yet. So this is a bold. Yes, bold it's, right it's a very bold strategy that we're going for. Um, so I'm just kind of getting a little bit in the middle, getting the sides really good. Getting and then before good. we let it dry, I'm going to put the lid back on because we obviously want to like that's one of the main goals here is to make it actually fit uh, with the lid. And um, we're going to go make sure the motherboard works before I. I glue anything that I know we can't break off, um, but I'm pretty confident this will work fine. And uh, once we know it works, we are going to put glue where we put those screws in um, just to make sure that it doesn't leak. And Okay, well, there goes that. Hi guys, it's been a, well, a week or so, I think, and we're back, so what are we doing, Jackson? So uh, we're basically, we left off exactly where we were. Um, we're just at the point where we need to get the radiator on. Matt just flipped the, uh, fans so that we can have the fans in the front and have the tubes that'll carry the oil in and out of the radiator just basically go right back into this hole here and it'll kind of sit like this look really clean um, and we're just getting ready to run the tube that's going to come off of the pond pump i don't think we have the right size fitting uh, maybe i can make this work you can make anything work you can make anything fit if you believe you just gotta believe yeah this will be fun to see how this pump does because i think all the other builds we've done i think i've gone with a lot less gallon per hour flow pumps uh so this one definitely has a pretty high rating i might need some wd-40 to get this on. some lube some lube good uh, enough so yeah we have our, our tubing coming out it's gonna be really simple it's just one tube in one tube out we'll probably need to run the other tube like the other side of the tank because the whole idea is to circulate the oil we don't want to run the same tube right back in next to the pump because then it's just gonna take the uh, mineral oil from the same area and cool it. We want to cool all over. One other thing we also bought that Matt put over here is we got some Gorilla Glue Clear Epoxy. This stuff will work great to seal those holes in the back and if we have to drill any other holes, this will work really well to make sure that we don't get uh, oil like everywhere, so. Glob it up. Yeah, that's, that's the plan here is I'm trying to just get it above and around. Um, really, these holes are high enough up where I don't think it's really gonna matter. Uh, if they're that covered. All right, so uh, you know, let's uh, continue on. We're gonna mount a radio. I think we're just gonna use a zip tie. One well, thing I could think that we could do is there are two, uh, there's holes back here that take power supply screws. We could always like acrylic weld a tab up here and have it screw into that. That would be professional. Um, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find Yeah, see something. if you can do something with that. Sounds, find, sounds pretty pro. Something with that. Genius idea going on right here. All right, so basically what we're gonna do, <laughs> I couldn't, can't, um, so we're going to do the same ones, do the same ones, do the same ones. No, okay. Well, basically what we're going to do is this right here. I just bent the tab um, on one of these, and then we'll be able to put one screw here and then one screw there, and then uh, I'm actually going to screw them into the lid to make them even stronger and epoxy them. So there's no way to break. That's kind of the same way I used to do very janky um, GPU sag fixes. Bend that little piece, stick it down. Easy yeah. peasy, lemon squeezy. We steal from PC bros. We're stealing from you guys. We just have to. Who are you? What kind of merch is that? This is the new Toasty Hop shirt. Teespring. Teespring. Wait, is it Teespring? What's the link? It's Teespring. I don't know what the link is, but it's in the description. It's not that. <laughs> I swear it's right here, right? Yes. Did, I, did I frame that well enough that I could photograph it in later? Yeah, sure. Right. 
Come to PC Bros. Woo! Mm -hmm. Drill, drill. Smart thing to do would be to take the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Okay. I like well. how that felt like it was so solid and then just did that to me. Well, it's fine. This will probably work fine, right? Well, Jackson is finishing that epoxy. I think it's worth noting that we did test this PC. We didn't show it on camera. It works. So we're not just like full sending this and... That is a good point, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't do something like this without <laughs> uh, making sure that it actually works. All right, what's your vision? All right, dude. So my vision, it is epic. So I was going to run uh, the return tube off of this barb down here and like, I don't know, just figure out a way to get like across the tank. But I was like, crap. I should have like ran the other tube behind the motherboard so it's hidden. So instead I'm like, well, instead of hiding it, there's a hole up here, right? That goes back in the tank. So I'm thinking about trying to get like perfectly centered, have it wrap around and basically just come to the barb like this, but obviously a lot less tubing. Um, and maybe zip tie it to like the fan grill or something so it doesn't move. But then the fluid or the mineral oil will just fall back in like a waterfall. Really, really keep it moving, you know? Oof, looks cold. We're doing this, this is happening. All right, so we got the fans plugged up. We ended up using a splitter because it makes a lot of sense that way. So we have to reach our like fingers down in there. If we ever want to change the fans out, we can just, you know. Yeah, we have no clue. Like these fans are just kind of like no name brand ones. So it'd be really unfortunate if they didn't work or they were very loud and we wanted to change them out. So we try to do as much as we can to keep um, stuff out of the oil that needs to be fixed possibly. So um, we still have some epoxy that technically like should dry, but I, really it's not going to stop us from just going ahead and putting oil in this. You want to see the pork? Yeah. Come on in, we're going. All right, how do you feel, Jackson? Not confident that I can do this without spilling it. All right, let's go. this all right gamers look at that oh gosh. it's all lubed up it's working as you can that tell. was uh that was terrifying to do because i remember back when matt and i first did these uh we did not use like nice mineral oil we just used um you know like basically baby oil and stuff like that which has fragrance in it and it seemed like it was a lot thicker this stuff just feels it feels very thin it was very viscous and i was like am i just gonna electrocute myself and like blow this up but uh it's working but yeah, what so. we're gonna do now is prove that it actually works by playing some games on it or something and just show it works. But yeah. uh, we haven't even installed Windows on this yet. No, think. we haven't. So we'll have to deal with that. But uh, yeah, it's ready to go for that part. Part of this video is getting Windows 11 on here. So how do we do that? Well, let's figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are now gaming on the Mineral PC in Windows 11. Uh, yeah, we'll show you Windows 11 here in a second, but we are in Minecraft playing on these uh, Iris Pro XE graphics with the, well, UHD 70 graphics, and it can play Minecraft, as you can see, it pretty well, actually. Yeah, it's actually, uh, wow, 118 FPS. Are we, I think we're like pretty much max settings. Let's, let's crank up the render distance. We go like 16, I think is pretty fair uncap that frame rate yeah just in case we got fancy maximum Turn up the brightness a little bit paid and for you guys out there at home conspiracy theorists out there i'm going to show you right here look at this this cable is right here it's plugged into here there's nothing else behind here and it's plugged into the monitor so yeah trust us it's <laughs> legit this is real uh mineral oil is a thing a lot of people have done it before and it's working fine and uh the temperatures are getting a little hot not that bad though not too bad i mean we're uh it's fluctuating very fast like we were just at 50 now it's at 60 now it's back down to 51 so i'm not really thinking these are like the most accurate temperatures the biggest thing is we just don't want to see that cpu temperature go above I'd probably say like 90 C. Once it's above 90 C, that's when it's starting to get pretty hot and the whole rest of the build's probably sweating its ass off. Well, yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, I mean, you guys get the concept. It's the fact that it can play Minecraft very well. Uh, we're not overheating. We're looks like we're, the computer's been running now for like over an hour downloading stuff. Typically that's what mineral oil is going to do is it really takes on the ambient temperature, which our office is pretty cool. I think it's around 71 Fahrenheit in here. 
Um, so because of that, the oil starts off at a pretty low temp and you have to have the system running at whatever like the max load is for about 30 minutes, I'd say, for it to really spread the heat all throughout the oil. And you can definitely feel the oils like, I mean, just slightly warm, but we've had these things get like hot before. So this is pretty good, all things considered. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite, Fortnite. and uh, Jackson kind of had a good idea um, just to test how this system actually cools without the pump. We're actually just going to flip the switch of the pump off. In theory, it should work perfectly fine, but you will start to see those temperatures climb when we do that. So once I get into some action here, Jackson's going to turn that pump off, and then you'll have a good idea of what a system like this would perform like, well, temperature-wise, when you don't actually have a pump and radiator combo, and it's just submerged in mineral oil. I mean, we're still at, yeah, we're at 49. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it because yeah. it really does seem, like I said, we've been running this for over an hour. So the temps have definitely stabilized. Like they're not gonna get any uh, cooler or hotter. Now I need to remember which plug it is. So I'll plug the computer. That would be Bloop. disappointing. <laughs> you wouldn't it be? All right, there we go. All right, so our, you can see our oil. I don't know if you guys saw the liquid just go all the way back up there. So it's not gonna be like instant results or anything because like I said, we're not circulating a ton of oil anyways. So you can see though our stream has completely stopped. Although that fan definitely helps circulate the oil. Like I'm watching some bubbles that have risen on the surface and uh, the Intel fan is still spinning just fast enough where like the oil's really moving. So I think that does give it a major advantage to at least get some of the hot oil like back up to the top. There's always a chance too though, because we're seeing these lower CP usages that we're just not really going to see any high temps because the, uh, the CPU is just kind of down clocking itself. It just keeps going up and down though, so. Tank definitely still, feel, I don't know, it feels like it might have gotten a little bit warmer. Yeah. I don't know. But what we'll do is we'll go to Valorant. Um, that might be a little bit more demanding on the CPU and then maybe just keep it like this and see what happens. And, uh, yeah, and then maybe, it might be fun to turn the pump on. Yeah, and, and see, if, see it if it goes lowers down. lowers it. All right, let's do Valorant. All right, guys. We are in Valorant. This and, is it. And we are still running with the pump off just to kind of see what the max temperature is gonna end up being. Um, it looks like we're hovering around the 50s now, a little bit higher than before. Uh, the CPU is more in the like 19 to 20% range, but uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're killing it so far and. Uh, yeah, it almost just, honestly, with how the temps are going, it seems like the radiator basically like does nothing. <laughs> yeah. It looks cool. It looks cool, yeah. You know, you could get <laughs> look like a blast. Wow. It's one of those over. things where like, um, you know, over time, maybe we'll see a difference. And I think if the air temperature here was a little bit hotter, the radiator right. would definitely do more. But, um, you know, with, with it being like 70-ish Fahrenheit in here, I just think it's just not getting hot enough. Yeah, so we, we think that it's possible the oil um, may have actually been like food grade. Well, we know it was food grade oil that we used this time. And we were talking about how this stuff just seems a lot thinner um, than like the last PCs we've done. And that's because the last PCs we've done, we we're using like pharmaceutical grade oil, which is like the little quartz you can get from like uh, Kroger's, Walmart, Myers, you name it, um, CVS, basically like <laughs> the laxative versions. Uh, the stuff that we're using is really more of like a um, food grade oil meant to be used for, you know, like let's say um, rubbing boards, like uh, wooden rubbing boards. Uh, sorry, cutting boards, wooden <laughs> cutting boards. boards. Yeah, temperatures, they still dip below um, 50 when there's like nothing going on, so. Which is pretty like normal, honestly, yeah. for an Intel air cooler. So this, it basically has ran about the same as like a normal uh, build we did. So, yeah. yeah. So that's that, that's some gaming. Um, just to show you guys, uh, if you get a sec, whenever you're done, you can mm -hmm. all tab and show people. This is actually running Windows 11 because we really haven't even shown people that yes. it has Windows 11 so, on yeah, it. So yeah, the, the thing's kind of nutty looking and then we'll go like activate, it's probably not activated, but it should show which version of Windows we're on. Oh gosh, this looks totally different. Activate um, now. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have a, to learn this, but basically we got into the developer program um, and got it to Windows work. Windows 11 yes. Pro. Yeah. There you go. You can see we installed it today as well. But uh, yeah, shut up. there you go. Shut that up, is Windows darn. 11 on the Mineral Oil PC. Let's just wrap this video up real quick, shall we? All right, guys, we did it with very minimal problems. The PC, well, it's running right now. We actually have the fans and like everything turned off because apparently this thing just runs so cool it really doesn't need any help cooling itself. Or plug in the pump back in because I want to see that 
Good old oil flow. Look at it go. All those oh air gosh. bubbles. Oh my God. It's working them out. Oh, it's trying its best. But uh, yeah, there you go. It sounds really loud probably right here, but uh, Mineral PC is ready to go. Do we recommend you do this? Not really, um, unless you just want to do something fun and know that you're going to have components completely covered in mineral oil for pretty much eternity. Um, yeah, wouldn't really recommend it, but it is cool that we were able to revisit our roots here with this PC and do a Windows 11 version, like the most popular video on our channel with a Windows 10 install. So if you guys like this video, be sure to drop a like, comment down below. And if you want to buy any of the stuff in today's video, links in the description down below will be affiliate links and they do help us out. Please use our Amazon affiliate to buy mineral oil. It'll make me very happy. <laughs> So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, check out our other YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, if you think this thing is really cool or you're skeptical and don't believe us that this is actually a mineral computer and it works, you can come in and see us at PC Bros. PC Bros. Tech is our PC selling business and this thing will be there for a little bit. Maybe someone will come and get it, but you can come see it in person and also buy an awesome computer from us. So yeah, PC Bros. Tech. see you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out. This project is over.